gonna get this. Okay, go ahead. We're here at the Phoenix Raceway. This is the vintage racing in Arizona. We've got a bunch of rich guys here with their toys. <laughs> so you gonna, you want to introduce us to Paul, the driver, who's your brother? This is Billy. We're talking I'm Billy, Bill. and this is my brother Paul. He's the owner of this car and the driver. And as you can hear in the background, we got a lot of cars out of the track. But Paul's going to tell us more about why we're here and what kind of car is this, what year, how long he's had it. And uh, is he going to let me ever drive it? You won't fit in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, it's a 1982 uh, Ronk RT5. We had the car uh, somewhere around 12, 14 years. Uh, they used to campaign these uh, as a pro series of Formula Super V. Back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, all the way to the end of 80, 89, uh, possibly 90, I'm not sure. And how much does it weigh? It weighs right around uh, just shy of 1,100 pounds. So is it faster than like a Cobra V8? Uh, around the track it's faster. So it handles better than a yes. like a big old Cobra? Yes. It'll, uh, it'll outperform it down on the straightaway maybe. They've got more horsepower, but uh, we will definitely take it in the corners. Cool. And I see you got a Chase Cam on here. That's yeah. one of your sponsors. And yeah, we got Chase Cam, Body Shoes, System One's very good to us. Mighty Water System One. Oh, air gas. Air gas for all the welding supplies and and uh, you know what, everybody. I think I think we're all going to go to Daytona Bike Week next year, February 2010. So should be a lot of fun. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. With it. That's what we're out here for, just to have some fun. Fortunately, we're able to do it. Uh, you know, hope some other people come out to spectate and enjoy the sport with, with us. And we're at the what track? We're at uh, Phoenix International. Cool. Final Well, I gotta ask Bernard if. Oh, if that's sanctioned? Well. Okay, we're gonna check the fuel, and what they do is, uh, since uh, the car has no fuel gauge, they use this piece of wood stick. There's a line on it. Yeah, they put a stick. Let me get a video of that. They actually put the stick in there, and it tells you about how much fuel's in it. The fuel's like nine bucks a gallon, it's made by Sunoco, and it makes car go fast. <laughs> resident photographer. And then here's a photographer, Ron Bermudez. <laughs> his finger up his He's the president of the Canon Camera Club International.